Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Wednesday, October 20th. The confession of sin on page 12. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. Apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant a most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Jubilate in page 15. Oh, be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Be assured that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates of thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures from generation to generation. We're going to have the psalm reading and the New Testament reading. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 119, verses 129 through 152. It can be found on page 436, or sorry, 430, yeah, 436 of the Book of Common Prayer. Your testimonies are wonderful. Therefore does my soul keep them. When your word goes forth, it gives light. And understanding to the simple. I opened my mouth and drew in my breath. For my delight was in your commandments. Oh, look upon me and be merciful unto me. As you always do for those who love your name. Order my steps according to your word. And so shall no wickedness have dominion over me. Uh, oh, deliver me from those who deal wrongfully. And so shall I keep your commandments. Show the light of your countenance upon your servant. And teach me your statutes. My eyes gush out water. Because of those who do not keep your law. Righteous are you, O Lord. And true are your judgments. The testimonies that you have commanded. Are exceedingly righteous and true. My zeal has even consumed me. Because my enemies have forgotten your words. Your word is tested to the uttermost. And therefore your servant loves it. I am small and of no reputation. Yet I do not forget your commandments. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And your law is the truth. Trouble and heaviness have taken hold of me. Yet my delight is in your commandments. The righteous, the righteousness of your testimonies is everlasting. Oh, grant me understanding and I shall live. I call with my whole heart. Hear me, O oh Lord, I will keep your statutes. Even unto you do I call. Help me and I shall keep your testimonies. Early in the morning do I cry unto you. For in your word is my trust. My eyes open before the night watches. That I may meditate on your words. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. 
Give me life according to your judgments. They draw nigh who in malice persecute me. And they're far from your law. Be near at hand, O Lord. For all your commandments are true. Concerning your testimonies, I have known long ago. That you have founded them forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The reading today is from Acts. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, beginning with the first chapter, the first verse. The promise of the Holy Spirit. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up after he had given commands through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the father, which he said, you heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now, the ascension. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know times or seasons that the father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes, and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Matthias chosen to replace Judas. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the Mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. And when they had entered, they went up to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus and Simon, the zealot and Judas, the son of James. All these with one accord were devoting themselves to prayer together with the women and Mary, mother of Jesus and his brothers, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Benedictus is found on page 19. Be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And on, pa on page 20, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O oh Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the ways of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O oh Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give yes. peace in our time, O oh Lord. Defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O oh Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. A collect for grace for Wednesday. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor run into any danger and that guided by your spirit, we may do what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Yeah. Now the time for prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you with all our being for this new day and for your extreme loving kindness toward us. Lord, we would especially lift up missions today. We ask, Lord, that you would be with Child Evangelism Fellowship as it seeks a new state director and churches in which it can share uh, its needs and its mission and we pray we thank you for jean and her ministry with crew heavenly father <clears throat> we come to you in thanksgiving as always we give thanksgiving for christ the king mm -hmm. and our church building uh, we do thank you for all the missions and outreach which we support um, we thank you especially for jean and her work we thank you for Kairos in the prisons in New Mexico and the fact that we are able now this month and next to begin going back into those prisons. We ask you to pour your light and protection into those places uh, to protect the staff and the uh, inmates, the residents and the volunteers who go in that we will be safe from um, everything, any illness, any uh, evil which uh, may lurk in prisons, that we will be protected and that uh, the devil will be um, rejected from having his way in those places. We thank you, Lord, that you go before us at our church and in our neighborhoods. And we ask you to always guide us and show us how to be your warriors and your crusaders in our families, in our places of work, in our places of mission, all these things we ask in your name. Father God, we lift up the 17 missionaries in Haiti that were abducted. Um, God, I mean, we know that you know exactly where they are. You're with them. Uh, pray that they would experience your peace that passes understanding moment by moment. Um, regardless of the circumstances, I pray that they would glorify you. Pray that they would um, even love their captors and show your love to them. Father, pray that you'd use this situation for your glory. Um, pray you, yeah, you just encourage them right now, Father. Also just rejoice with you over uh, Archbishop Ben Kwashi in, uh, in Nigeria, who is uh, in remission now from cancer. Praise you for that. Pray you'd continue his ministry and continue the work that you're doing there. Praise and Jock throughout the country of Nigeria, would you show show your love, um, especially to those from Muslim backgrounds. Thank you for what you're doing in that realm right now, Father. And Lord, we lift up LifeQuest, the youth prison ministry and 
thank you that they're setting uh, up programs to re-enter the uh, prisons and pray Lord for uh, the young people there that their hearts and minds will be receptive uh, to the gospel that uh, prison yes. is the end uh, for <clears throat> them that uh, with you Lord that it, uh, it can serve as a beginning of uh, their life with you and a life of, of meaning and purpose and hope and pray for the, the volunteers, the staff members, and ask you to bless them. In Jesus' yes, name, Lord. amen. Amen. A prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant the requests. <laughs> Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace for Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.